So this is a very different video than what I usually film kind of thing because this my channel is usually like motherhood and lifestyle kind of thing. Well, I guess this kind of fits into it this lifestyle. But obviously I'm going back to school in September hopefully and obviously I was supposed to be doing my GCSEs this year. So I'm actually getting my GCSE results tomorrow. So when this is going up, I will have got my GCSE results because I got them that day. But so today is the 19th of August and it is currently half eight and I'm just kind of overthinking so much. Like, I'm editing a video at the moment where I'm talking about GCSEs and I'm literally bricking it. Like, I'm actually so nervous. Like, I feel like I'm going to, like, burst into floods of tears because I just don't think I'm going to get the grades that I need to, to get into college. And if I don't get them, then I don't have another... I don't have another, like, second choice almost. Like, the only college I applied for was the school that I was already enrolled with because they know my history. So... I'm really nervous that I'm not going to get in because the college that I want to get into is quite a academic college and you need like certain grades to get in like in other subjects as well like to even be like considered into my school you really need a five in English and then a five in maths so you need a five in English literature a five in English language and a five in maths to like even be like considered into the school but obviously there's like the off chances um but I'm really nervous I'm not going to get into college and I'm just breaking it and I literally feel like I'm going to burst out crying because I'm just so nervous to get my results tomorrow. They're being emailed out before 8am in the morning so like when I wake up I should get the email of my results and I'm so worried because I wasn't there for the last couple of months of school and I don't want my grades to go down because of that because I was doing really well up until I left but I, like I couldn't, I couldn't be in school while giving birth so, and I couldn't be in school during a pandemic but obviously all the kids at my school were going to school for like three months after I was gone so they have the same predicted grade and I don't and I'm just I'm breaking it so in this video I will be sharing with you the GCSE results I got so obviously I'm kind of hoping for certain grades but I don't know if I'm gonna get them so what I've kind of predicted myself is in English language I predicted myself a four because I was so bad at that anyways in literature I predicted myself a five because I was kind of okay in that but it wasn't like the best um, maths I've predicted myself a six or a seven but I don't know um, biology, I've predicted myself a 7, chemistry a 7, physics a 3 or a 4. If I pass physics, I swear to God the gods are on my side because I, I, I don't get any physics. Um, geography, I've predicted myself a 6 and then business studies, I've predicted myself a 4 or a 5 I think. So obviously they are the grades that I've predicted myself are quite good, like they're not the best but like they're good. Um, but they were kind of the predicted grades that I was going off of, like, my last mocks in December. Other than the off couple, because in physics, I don't know how, but I passed physics. Like, I got a five or a six in physics in my mocks, so I don't know how. Um, but they're what I predicted myself. So, obviously, tomorrow morning, you'll actually see what I actually got, and I am so nervous. I literally just want to cry. I just want to have a long soak in the bath. I just need to, like get away for a minute because I'm so stressed out because if I don't get into college like I don't know what I'm going to do with my life because <laughs> I haven't I haven't planned for me not to go into college almost like the way I've planned my life is like college and then next year move out when I finish college hopefully another baby if I'm ready by then and if I want to <laughs> and then university after that and if I don't get into college then I'm screwed like I'm literally screwed but yeah I'm probably gonna go and have a cry now because I'm actually so nervous but hopefully I'm just overreacting but I guess we'll find that out tomorrow so on to me opening my results so I've literally just woken up it's now the 20th of August and my results should be in my email account so I'm not gonna waste much time and I'm just gonna open them so for anybody wondering Oscar is asleep I've literally just woken up if you can't tell but 
I literally can't wait. My laptop is just trying to come on, but it's not coming on. So, okay, right now it's on. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. My mum's literally staring at me. Right, so on my email account, I've got an email saying, Kira Jules, year 11, and then my form, please find your attached exam results. <sighs> okay. Open them. Oh, I mean, I passed everything. I don't know when it. What I thought I'd get. What? My school have put me in for biology, chemistry, and physics foundation rather than higher. So in foundation, the highest grade you can get is a five, but I was going higher and I was getting eights. Why the hell have they put me in foundation? Maths, yeah, I, I was expected. I, biology, chemistry and physics, all are five because I'm on foundation. What the f... What? No. So why am I just crying? Because when I did my mocks... I was getting literally seven, and now I've got nothing higher. Than I've got one six and then I'm fives, <laughs> apart from two fours, and I was literally getting a seven and eight in all my mocks. Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna call Zach because he wanted me to call him when I found out my result. <laughs> I got a four in geography. Yeah. I was predicted a six. Oh my, what? I got a four in English literature, I was predicted a five. Right. I got a five in English language, I was predicted a four. I got yeah. a five in physics, I was predicted eight. Yeah. I got a five in chemistry, I was predicted eight. Oh I got five God. in biology, I was predicted seven. Right. I got a five in business, that's fine. And I got a six in maths, I was predicted that. But the reason why my science is so low is because they put me in the foundation instead of higher, so I couldn't get higher than five. They, sorry, say that again. They took you. They put me through the foundation paper rather than the higher paper, so I couldn't get higher than a five. Why, why did they do that? I don't know, because all my tests since year nine, I've been with the higher, and I've always been getting, like, sevens and eights. Well, I guarantee you that... They put me down by foundation tier rather than the higher tier. I know you are. You've never been in the foundation. Oh, oh my I was God, in I'm top so... set science. I'm, everyone, I'm not is, everyone in top set got higher. So why did they put me for foundation? In my mocks, I got a high, I, I was in the higher, and I got sixes and sevens, and I passed everything. I, know you did. I don't know why they put me in foundation. And fair enough if they put me in all my papers for foundation, but maths, maths is higher. <laughs> Maths I got, I did the higher paper for, so it's not even that they just put me down to foundation because I had a baby. Right, I'm not getting angry with you by the way, I don't mean to think I'm angry with you in the slightest, because I'm not, I am not angry at you in the slightest. I put in my application for, but obviously I had to click the box that said I didn't, I didn't meet any of the targets to get in. Yeah, but they, So I'm not they, gonna they get in, I'm them. supposed to have a 6 for biology, a 6 for chemistry and a 7 for maths. Well, they better put you in, because this is exceptional circumstances. But they put me in the foundation. Baby, we will get this sorted. Um, this is not okay, okay? I know it's will... not. My mum... We're, go my... we're going to get this sorted. They can't do this to you. This is awful. My mum said that I should that we're going to appeal to them. So that, that yeah. and what that is is that they'd get remarked, but obviously in the circumstances it's not remarked. It's just... Really yeah, but we, yeah. Because I should have been today. in higher. I should have been in higher. I know that. Everyone knows that. I've just you. been crying. 
pardon. I'm so proud of you. Darling, you have passed no, yeah, all of them. <laughs> this is enough to get you into any normal college. One of the top ones in the country. That's why they're being difficult. I've sent them the message. They've come back. They've said, put it in the enrolment form and send it off. You've done that, so we've just got to wait and see what happens. The thing is, I would have done so much better if I took my GCSEs. Well, there. no, you take what the options are now is you take a year out, you appeal, they put you in for the higher set and you get the higher grades. Because it's their fault not yeah. putting you in for the right foundation. Exactly, not they paper. put me in for the wrong paper. paper. And this is why... Did they, you... don't, they don't know if I did foundation in my mocks or something, but I took you, higher. You took higher in I've your I've taken mocks. higher in every test since year nine. Mo- physics, no. physics I got a five. I don't want to change that. I, no, want, no. That. I want that five. No, because you needed the sixes for that. But I need the sixes in biology and chemistry. You are just one slight grade shorter, and you just had a baby. Hopeful that due to exceptional circumstances... They will still let you not, in. Not even due to that. I should have got a higher grade. Yeah, exactly, which is why I've made it on the other results. I've, they said, like, is there anything we should know about? And I said, I've been put down for foundation in biology and chemistry when I should have been higher. Yeah, exactly. So I put that down on the form and the enrolment form. Yeah. So they should. Definitely. Yeah, they'll pick up on that straight away. I'm Poor not me. resetting the year. No, not, no. But, but as in, you can't change these no. results unless we appeal it. We can appeal them. That's what I mean. But if, we, if you get in, is there any point in appealing <gasps> if you get into the year levels? These, yeah, but GCSE, GCSE grades go off everything, though. Yeah. What happens is, when you do your UCAS report, right, which has a statement about yourself and what you've been doing, and you put, to start with, during my GCSEs, I had a baby boy. That explains it, just like my A-levels. Do you see what I mean? It won't... I got five Bs and three Cs, and I came out with a first. So... It doesn't reflect, because this is just part of who you are. And the fact that you did this with that, and this wasn't even real, because it wasn't judged on what you could do. So, I'd be very surprised. Very surprised. There you go. I'm going to have to shoot, but I'll give you a call back when I can. Well, sort of. You go. Go focus on your job. I know, darling. No, I, I just want to make sure that I will give her a call back when I can. I love her with... I know, I know you can hear me. I love you with all my heart, baby. Everything's going to be all OK, OK? We'll sort it out for you. Okay, so obviously you just saw the clip of me like telling Zach my results and then my mum coming in and talking to me. But we don't know what's going to happen yet. I wait to see if I've got a place in four to eight days. I'm really sorry about the mascara, but I was crying. Um, What my mum said is that if I don't get into college, what we should do is appeal it and then take a year out. So... I don't really know what's going to happen yet. I just need to wait for the next week to see if I've got a place at my college. And that's really it. Like, I'm really, really nervous. I should have been put in for higher on my sciences, so I should have got higher than them. Physics I'm really happy with because I, I, don't, I didn't think I was going to pass physics, so physics I want to stay the same. But biology and chemistry should have been a 7 or an 8. And... That's my school's fault because they've put me in for foundation paper. Like, fair enough if they put me in for a foundation paper across all boards. But I, was, I like, sat the higher paper in maths. So, it's not that they did it because I had a baby. They did it for no reason. And I've been taking the higher paper for over three years now in my school for GCSE papers. And I've passed literally every single one of them. And for my mocks, I got sixes and sevens. So I should have, I should have got higher in chemistry and biology. And I'm really, really upset I didn't because I worked so hard in those two subjects. Like those two subjects are the subjects that I worked my ass off, like literally, because they were my favourite subjects. And knowing that I only got a five in them has really, really hurt me because. I need to get a six to get into college and I need a seven in maths to get into college and I got a six and a five or both. So I'm really upset about that. But anyways, I'm going to go. There will still be a video up tonight at five. But I just thought I'd do this because I guess everyone wants to see what I got for my results. So if you took your results, I hope nothing went wrong and I really hope you get enrolled in college or you take a like you you taken a good apprenticeship for september and i just really hope that you're happy with yourself and you've achieved what you wanted to achieve but anyways what i'm gonna do now quickly is i'm just gonna put up all my 
all my greys to the side of me so that you can completely see what I got because I don't know if you could understand proper what I heard, what I was saying with my grades, but I'm just really upset about that. But anyways, as I said, I'm going to go now. I hope you had an awesome day and make sure you watch the video that goes up at five o'clock today. So yeah, make sure you watch that and hopefully I'll see you all again then. So bye.